Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. We're gonna be doing some more decorating today. I hope that you enjoyed the kitchen video. Maybe that got you motivated to get started. I hope you've been enjoying some of our shop with me videos. So we had some cooler temperatures this morning. It was like 55 degrees this morning. It's a nice breeze out there. Now we've warmed up probably into the 80s now, but it's just a nice breeze and it just has that feel of fall. We are still in so much need of rain. We need some rain, it is so, so dry, but we are starting to get that little bit of fall feel in the air, which just really gets me more in the mood to decorate. In today's video, we're going to probably, don't hold me to this, we'll see when I get started, but we're probably gonna start on the fireplace and maybe this entryway table. I've just been playing around throwing some stuff on that. Those two things probably for sure today we'll get to. I still have the coffee table, I still have the dining area, I have my office here, I've got that beautiful arched hutch that we're gonna be decorating this year. So we've got several places. I'm not 100% sure how many we'll get to in this video. So stay tuned. I hope that you'll watch to the end. If you enjoyed the video, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. I do upload a new video every Thursday. So let's go ahead and get started. I just wanted to take a minute there and get everything kind of tidied up. Did y'all see how many blankets we have? Our entire family, if we are laying around, I mean, in the middle of the summer, winter, whatever, we're going to have a blanket. That's one thing about us. And I just sort of started piling some stuff up here on the coffee table. This is just some spring and summer decor that I know I'm not going to be using in the fall. And I'm definitely going to get started here on the fireplace, I think. I still have all of my spring and summer. When I decorate for spring, I pretty much leave the same thing out throughout the summer. So this is been up really since probably March I want to say and so all of this I'm going to take down and we are well except for that black candle there and then of course my candlesticks we'll just change that out for some fall taper candles so this year we did get this new tv stand we mounted the tv on the wall so this is the first year i've actually got something that i can decorate a little bit more so i've been adding in a few pieces um these to me have like a fall look to them but they're really just everyday pieces those vases come from hobby lobby the little baskets came from or the boxes came from amazon and these candlesticks came from hobby lobby well that big one there you can see came kind of bent and so I haven't even taken the little tags off of them because I was seeing if I could find another big one to replace so I ended up emailing them they are sending me a replacement so I'm very excited about that and then also the coffee table is new this year so I'm very excited to be able to decorate a coffee table my kids now are 11 and 13 I have not had a coffee table since they were born let's go ahead and get started on the fireplace I'm just going to clear everything out that I know I'm not going to use and just give everything a really good wipe down I love grabbing the seasonal Mrs. Meyer scents. I love the apple cider. It's my favorite. I'm actually still using up what little bit I had left from last year, but I do need to get me a fresh bottle of that. I like to get the cleaner, the hand soap, and the dish soap. I will link this down in the description box because it is just so, so good. I picked up this gorgeous mirror at a local estate sale a year or so ago, and I love it on this fireplace. And it was only $15, y'all. What a steal. And then this crock, it's a true vintage crock. It was my husband's grandmother's. I use it usually for every season, every holiday. It is going to be here at either on my fireplace or on my entryway table, sometimes maybe my dining table. I got these stems at Target Dollar Spot. I've had these a few years. They were only $3 per stem. I've got several here, and I just like the look of them. I love that color. And I was thinking about maybe getting some different stems for this vase this year. Um, I haven't ran across exactly what I wanted, so for now, we're just gonna go with these. Mm -hmm. 
this was a thrift find from last year. It is so pretty. It makes me think of that new little oval picture that came out from Hearth and Hand this year. I think I maybe paid $2.99 for it at the thrift store. This one is Hearth and Hand. It was only $6.99, brand new. Love this one for fall. So I thought I would try to incorporate it onto my mantle. I always do brass candlesticks, especially in the fall. So I just thought it would pair well with those. Hobby Lobby is my favorite place to buy taper candles. You can get the most beautiful colors. Look at this like burnt orange rust color. It is perfect for fall. I used these last year. I'm going to use them again this year. Now, I don't necessarily burn these because my kids are always running around wild. And to be honest, these taper candles scare me. So I do like to light them though. Let them burn down to like varying heights and then let that wax just drip down the sides a little bit. It just gives so much character. It adds so much character and I really like for them to be different sizes. Now this little pumpkin I picked up at the thrift store, but it was very shiny, it was navy blue, and the stem was gold. So I just did a little DIY on that and added him in here, and I think he looks so much better in black. I really, really just wanted to keep things very simple this year. Now you see that hook up at the very top? Sometimes I end up putting a wreath up there. So y'all let me know down in the comments, do you think it needs anything else? Should I put a wreath above it, or do you think it's okay as is? I did grab this little side table from Hearth and Hand at Target, and I just had this little um, greenery that I picked up at Walmart. It was very cheap, and it, it looks very cheap, honestly. I think I paid like $1.50 for it or something like that, but I just put it down here on the bottom because I did feel like it needed something there, and then we truly just used that as a drink table, so I just have a little copper coaster on it. This other wooden table I absolutely love. I found it at Ross. I love the triangle shape of it. Fits perfect in that little nook. We got those recliners from Wayfair this year and they are so, so good. We've honestly redone our entire living room this year, it seems like. Um, I wanted to show y'all this lamp. It's Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart. I think it was $89, less than $100 for sure. That little table came from an estate sale, and I just refinished it myself. And then that little scalloped tray came from Walmart. Now, I'm actually looking for some more fall-looking florals to go in that vase. That's the Walmart planter, the viral Walmart planter. And then, you know, we had gotten this couch this year, which we're still enjoying in the couch and the coffee table so i pulled out a few vases and a few things that i thought i might use so let's see what we could do with it I always kind of struggle with where to put the coffee table. I told y'all I hadn't had a coffee table in 13 years. So is there like a certain amount of space to leave it? I find if I pull it too far away, the boys always want to put their feet up on it. The, whoever's not sitting on the end with the chase lounge. And this couch is very, very low and the table's very, very low. But honestly, my kids are really the only ones that sit on it anyway. So it's perfect for them. Now we were talking about taper candles a minute ago and I said they scare me. So I definitely didn't want to put anything actually burning on the coffee table but these from Hobby Lobby are so good a two pack is $5.99 they had the cream color and they had this color again it's that pretty rust like perfect for fall and they light up so pretty I had picked up these coasters from Ross and then I just had a couple of books that I just had I love that like maroon color that's a true vintage book and I'm just gonna play around a little bit here and see what I come up with I love, love, love this wooden dough bowl. I got this one at Walmart. I have also seen them at Hobby Lobby. And then I picked up these little pumpkins, just filler pumpkins. I think I got these at TJ Maxx. Yep, these came from TJ Maxx and I decided to just put them in the wooden dough bowl. Now, anything that I can, I will link down in the description box. Y'all know I do use a lot of stuff that I already had. I do use like a lot of vintage pieces and pieces that were my grandparents and stuff like that. So I did end up changing out the book um, and then I just... 
added the white one on top just to kind of get a little bit of contrast and y'all let me know what do you think about that candle holder and the candle do those colors clash or does it look okay This is my absolute favorite fall candle scent. It is pumpkin bourbon. I get them at Target every year. I've never actually seen one in a glass like this. I thought it was very pretty. I like the like odd design of it and it's that pretty like amber glass. But anyway, and wood wick. I love a wood wick candle, but that scent, pumpkin bourbon, it just smells so good. If you can find that, I highly recommend. Okay, time to bring in all of the cozies, all of the throw pillows and the throw blankets and all of the goodness we love. Like I said, I told y'all earlier, we are always covered up whether it is cold outside or not, we are always covered up. I got this blanket at Target last year. It was $10. It was just such a good price on it. Just a chunky knit blanket. I think it's Threshold brand. Yes, Threshold. I'm going to see if they have these this year, but that color, it's just like a, a golden taupey color. It is just perfect for fall. The next couple I'm going to show you are from My Texas House from Walmart. Now, these are just pillow covers that I ordered. This one is just a really pretty sage green. It's hard to tell from the camera. It almost looks gray, but it's really like a sage green. And one side is like a window pane check it and then the other side is stripes and so you can do it either way and i also got this one i don't know if it's still available i'm gonna check and i'll link it if i can because it is beautiful it's like a rust color velvet one side's just solid one side is floral and it is so pretty and my little boy wants that one he wants to lay on that one all the time because it is so soft I love these little pumpkin throw pillows. This one is super soft. I got it at Aldi last year. Very inexpensive. I haven't been in there this year, so I'm not sure if they still have them. But that little tan pillow also came from Aldi. And then the cream pumpkin one came from Walmart this year. And they do still have those in stock. And they are less than $12. move on over to the tv stand like i said i'm just keeping everything really simple this year i'm not putting out a ton and i'm really just gonna leave stuff the way it is over here i'm just gonna add this little boucle pumpkin that came from aldi last year too that black pumpkin came from target but it was very marked down <laughs> like i got it for like 90 cents or something and i had forgotten all about these two little pine cone uh, candle holders i'd gotten at goodwill last year i thought about trying to add them in i thought they looked kind of funny so i think i end up moving those and again i just want to keep things very simple this year i go out a little bit more for christmas time but for fall i really just want to bring in just some of those natural warm fall tones and i'm just not putting out tons of actually fall decorations this is what I settled on for now. Now I still have to paint that little cord hider. It's paintable, so I need to paint it to match the wall. And then we actually are trying to build a frame to go around the TV. And so stay tuned for that. I'll share it if we get it down. We thought we built one and it didn't really fit and then it broke and then we've just not messed with it anymore. But I think that will look really pretty to do that and do like some TV art for the different holidays and seasons. So that is our goal here, so we'll see. We're keeping things really simple over here these two little tables come from target absolutely love those i'll link them if they're available we've got our tissues tis the season school has started back but look how adorable that little tissue box cover is it came from amazon like seven bucks i will link it for you have some coasters my kids know they are supposed to use a coaster and they do pretty well with that and i just keep them laying around everywhere so here is just a little look again at all of the coziness here on the couch we love throw blankets 
blankets, throw pillows, and my kids lay on those pillows or they'll just toss them in the floor. So it's not a big deal to us to have pillows everywhere. That is it for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, decorating with me for fall. I hope that you enjoyed. I am loving just the simplicity of these fall decorations this year. I know some of you have told me that you love to go all out for fall. I love hearing your stories. Let's chat down in the comments. Again, I'll link anything that I can for you. If you see something you have a question about, be sure and leave a comment. I'm happy to answer those. I hope you'll come back next week. I do upload a new video every Thursday, and I did a poll and y'all voted that you would rather see the bonus videos on Sunday. So hopefully I will see you on Sunday and Thursday. Bye.